hello students welcome to engineers academy do subscribe engineers academy if you are here for the first time now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 2 mechanics of materials by rc hibbler the chapter name is strain and this problem says that the two wires are connected together at a if the force p causes point a to be displaced horizontally 2 mm determine the normal strain developed in each wire so the problem says that force P is applied at A and this point A is displaced 2 mm in the horizontal direction. So if let's say that the new position of point A is somewhere here after two after traveling a distance of 2 mm, then let's say this is point A dash. So we are asked to find the strain developed in both of these wires, wire AC and wire AB. So as you guys can see that um, the normal strain in both the wires will remain the same because the point A only moves in the horizontal direction. So if I if I join this point B with that A dash as well, so we will have this triangle A A dash C and we will have B A A dash. We will have these two triangles and the change in length of a C wire and the change in length of A B wire will remain the same since this displacement is only in the horizontal direction. So this means that if the change in length of both the wires remain the same, the, the normal strain in both the wires will remain the same as well. So we can say that the normal strain in A B will be equal to the normal strain in A C and that will be equal to the change in length of AC divided by the original length or we can say that the initial length of AC. Now the change in length of AC will be equal to we can say that um, L A dash C minus L A C divided by L A C. So L A dash C, this is A dash C, we need to find this length. This will be the length of wire A C after the displacement uh, of 2 mm. So if we find this, putting all those values, this, this is known, this is 300 mm. So we just need to find this L A dash C and we can use this triangle. And we can use the law of cosines for this triangle. So now as you guys can see that this angle is 30 degree. So if this is 30, then this is 150. So this angle is, we can say that this angle is 150 degrees. So we can find L A dash C by using the law of cosine. So we can say that L A dash C square is equal to A C square. So A C is 300. You guys can see this is 300. And this is 2 m. So we can say that 300 square plus 2 square minus 2 times 300 into 2 and cos of the angle in front of this A dash C. So this angle is 150. So cos of 150. And since we want to find L A dash C, we need to take square root on both sides of the equation. So we will be able to find L A dash C. So this is, we can say that this is 300 square plus 2 square minus 2 into 300 into 2 multiply by cos of 150. So this gives us L A D C equals to 301 point seven. Uh, 337 let's say 7337 mm so now putting this in that equation we will be able to find the strain in both the wires so we can say that the normal strain in wire AB is equal to the normal strain in wire AC is equal to so this is equal to 301.7337 minus 300 the initial length of, bo of both the wires is 300 mm divided by 300. So we can say that 
this answer which is 301.7337 minus 300 divided by 300. So this gives us strain in both the y's, the normal strain in both the y's equals to 0 0.005 seven eight millimeter per millimeter so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do like this video and subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from mechanics of materials by rc hippler